ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the greatest show in DieCast. No, actually I wish. It's not that great. Well, it's not bad. Uh, <laughs> kind of promised my wife I wouldn't get any more cars and... Well, <laughs> I, uh, I got a little money today and, well, I was just going to go look and I ended up picking some stuff up. So, there's a couple of things that I know are going to go down to uh, Florida. Um. I gave uh, him a sneak peek, and uh, this, oh, 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 that's all I'm going to show you guys, too. I already took a picture of it and sent it to him. Oh, it's upside down. It's upside down. There. Yeah, this is going down to Florida. Can't really show you exactly what it is, because he doesn't even see it. And, uh, yeah, so I picked up a couple things to go down that way because they were cool. And I know he'll like them. Uh, I'll be down to Mr. James Shear if I... So you all know. Alright, I, I did pick up a couple things at shop. Yeah, this is, these are from shop, though. The one I think I might have, but I don't, I don't really know. I got this, this, uh, what is that, a, a 67 Chevy C10 in red. Oh, yeah, buddy, red. Can't go wrong with a little red. I know I don't have this one. I don't, at least I don't think I do. The uh, 69 Dodge Coronet Super B. Pretty cool. It's uh, red with flames. I like that. This whole Heat Fleet series is really, hmm, really like it. Right, we also have the '69 uh, Ford Grand Torino Talladega. Mm, that's a nice car too. I found me another skate punk. This one I found in the wild. On the pegs. Couldn't believe it. Now this one, I'm not sure if I have this one. 68 Plymouth Barracuda Formula S in the, in the orange. I know I got one of them. I'm not sure if it's the orange one or... I think there's a couple colors of that. And I'm pretty sure I have this one, but I like it. This is the riveted, the silver and gold. Mm, that's a nice car. Well, it's a nice paint job. Really like that. All right, I'm going to show you a couple of things here that are going to be opened up on probably a different video like tomorrow. I got this uh, nine pack with the exclusive decoration. I don't know what car that is exactly right now. I know uh, it comes with a pink bone shaker. And this, uh, oh, this skull crusher. I have one of these on card. But I may leave it on the card now because uh, I have it in this nine pack and I'm going to have to open it. So yeah, there's some nice, nice cars in here. We'll uh, take a look at that maybe tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Okay. I picked up a couple of Maisto 5 packs. Because uh, I kind of like most of the cars that are in them, actually. Well, a couple of the cars in there, anyways. Yeah, I got this one.
got this milk truck in the bottom. I I, I am in the dairy state. So, uh, milk truck. <laughs> One five five five. Love milk. Yeah, this will get open in probably tomorrow too. And we do have this one. That is a what is that? Maybe I think that might be a Lamborghini. That dump truck. Oh, look at that beetle. Hmm. We got that one there. We'll uh, open that up tomorrow and get a better look at them too. All right. Uh, I did find this when I was at the checkout. 1971 Mustang Mach 1. Looks like a, like a gold metal flight color. That's pretty nice. <laughs> it's on a short card. Well, it'll still probably get open. Not a big packaging guy. This one I thought was cool. This is a a Tonka metal die cast bodies. The vintage fire pumper. That's a nice one. I like that. Yeah, buddy. I might open that tomorrow, too. We'll see. Get a better look at it. Alright, I did find a sack of cars with a few in there that I liked. Um, from at Goodwill. So I'm going to open that now and take a look at them. Alright, I know I got a couple of these in here. I don't know. Motor Max. Eh. Not sure what kind of cab it is. There's a couple of these in there, though. Not bad. Let's grab the other one out here. Yeah, see, there's the other one. They're made in China, by the way. K, K9, K10. Huh. Yeah, I'll look it up and see if they are. This one I noticed was in here. Made in China. Okay. It's a red semi truck. If you look on top, can you see that? That looks a little bit like uh, everybody's favorite giraffe. Looks a bit like Jeffrey, I believe. If you don't know who that is, uh, it's a Toys R Us guy. Eh, the stacks are a little bent, but eh, who cares? This one, I, I might keep this one. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, this is just a off brand of some sort of. Oh, uh -huh. that's pretty small. It's a very thin car. It almost looks like it was smashed. I think maybe it was made that way, actually. No, uh -huh. I have no idea. Yeah, it may just go in the garbage. I don't know. Another off-brand car. Purple with, with a sheep on the hood. <laughs> oh, this one's nice. Who makes this one? Oh, this is a real toy. Audi TT. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at it. This is 155th on the bottom, but I'm not sure if that means 155th scale or not. 
It's comparable to a Hot Wheel, but check that out. Red headlights, the Audi symbol on the front. Tail lights. It's pretty cool. No opening parts, but still pretty, pretty cool. Well, here's a Hot Wheels manufactured for McDonald's Corporation, which doesn't surprise me. It's number ninety-four. McDonald's. That's a fiftieth anniversary NASCAR fiftieth anniversary. Pretty cool. Pretty cool for McDonald's. <laughs> oh, the tail comes out. Huh. Who made this one? What is a Hot Wheels? Thailand, but... I'm going to have to do some research on this. This is a Hot Wheels Mattel Inc. 1969. Nope. <laughs> Battery's getting low. 1969 Thailand base helicopter. A race patrol. It's pretty cool, actually. Gonna definitely have to do some research on this bad boy. Nobody knows anything about this. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, huh. This could be the oldest car I, vehicle I have. Been. I don't know how old it is exactly. All right, this is a heavy one. This is a matchbox. Model A Ford, 19, copyright 1979, made in Macau. Huh. I have to look into this one too. Uh, some of you guys know a little bit more about this. Kellogg's Rice Krispie. This is heavy. I don't know if it's one of the models of yesteryear or what. Uh, let me know. Pretty cool. Yeah, well, I got it. I saw that in there. And I saw this one in here. This is a shark cruiser. Copyright 86, Thailand. Let me see. This one says copyright. This is a new one. This is copyright 86 2011. So, uh, I may have to do a little research on that bad boy, too. And, uh, wheels are a little wonky, but that can be fixed. Huh. Like me, some shark cruisers, so. Saw that after I decided to buy it. <laughs> well, this is another no-name racer. Actually, it's the same style, flattened that as that one. And it's got the same symbol on the bottom. And I know my camera is not going to pick up that symbol. Let's see. I don't know if he can. Let's see if I can. There it is. Well, anybody, get, any of you guys know anything about that? Let me know. Who knows? It could be some rare pieces. Who knows? I don't know. This is a HW Prototype 12. Hot Wheels. It's not bad car. Never know what you're gonna find at Goodwill, guys. So make sure you check it out. Ooh, this is a 
Thailand base RDO1. I don't know. I don't know anything about that either. Uh, maybe you guys can help me out. It's pretty cool. Blue, yellow. Looks like a jet from the top. <laughs> And got a couple more in here. Let's see what this is. This is this is a Hot Wheels Thailand base Hot Wheels Power Rage. Huh? Actually, not bad, really. Does have the track symbol on the bottom here? Let's see if I can get it in. Maybe we'll have to try it out on the track or something. Uh, I got one more of these squished cars. <laughs> and go figure. It's missing the back wheels. It's not really a squished car. I think it's the same company that does that. <laughs> missing the back wheels. Nope, they're not missing. <laughs> they're just inside. They are pushed up inside. Hmm. Yeah. So that's what I got today. Uh, yeah, definitely do some research on a couple of these, uh, like this uh, helicopter. I mean, it doesn't look that old. It doesn't look as old as 69 would be, but I don't know how old it is. And I'll have to do some research on this bad boy right here. Yeah, so, yeah, that's it for me for now. Uh, we're at 17 minutes, so, and I kind of got to get to bed for work tomorrow. Um... Yeah, if anybody needs a skate punk or wants a skate punk, let me know because I have another one and I really don't need two of them. But it was on the it was on the peg, so I figured I'd grab it. Uh, yeah. So yeah, there we go. That's it for me for now. Um, oh yeah, and this thing. Do some research on that too. All right. That's it for me. We're out. Oh, remember, have fun out there. Bye.